here today with Adam Bennett, CEO of Red Piranha. Adam, thanks for your time. Thanks for having me. Are you able to share a little bit about Red Piranha? So we uh, manufacture, we're an Australian organisation that manufactures uh, what's called a unified threat management uh, product or uh, next generation firewalls. Uh, we're the only company in Australia that uh, is in this space and uh, we're pretty proud of the product. We released uh, an operating system called Crystalline which is deployed uh, both on appliances made from our factory which are made to, for, made to order for clients uh, and in the cloud. And what does the technology actually do? So we looked at a number of problems that were in the industry. I mean, cyber security is a complex issue. Uh, as networks have grown, the, you know, the, our, our uptake of digital data in everyday lives and in businesses has grown exponentially. And so too are the networks which serve these, and IT teams really are struggling with um, you know, the capability to lock these down. You know, even large organisations and, and military have trouble. Um, and there's three areas that need to be looked at here, and that is the protection, the detection, and the response. And traditional firewalls uh, back from the 90s, which have been around, one, were underpowered, uh, don't deal with the detection and response part of it. They were all based around the protection. Uh, we took this to a whole new level with new features in its own right, but we also built in things like vulnerability assessment, you know, GRC risk management, um, you know, and incident response as well into the platform, which uh, we've taken, that used to be a three month process to a 12 month process down to a 30 minute to one day process. You know? so, we can't, no one can guarantee that you're gonna ever be not hacked. In fact, it's quite well known these days just to prepare yourself for being hacked. And, and in dealing with that, what you wanna be able to do is respond to the breach as quickly as possible, as well as give yourself the best protection. So, so if you can respond quickly, you know, within 30 minutes, five to 30 minutes, and start dealing with that breach, the risk is then reduced because the average dwell time for hackers you know, for, for hackers to exist in a network before companies actually find this, the average time is over 12 months. And that's where the damage really gets done because hacking is not like the movies. You know, it's not all done in five minutes. You know, hackers do reconnaissance, you know, they, they find weaknesses, then they pivot and get extra uh, sort of access to your network. And that's when they get that higher level access, that's when the, the risk to the business really takes hold because that's when they get access to data, they get access to information about to exploit or extort. Um, and it's, you want to capture them before that process. So, so while we have the most advanced painted technology for protections, you know, we also have the most advanced detection and response platforms as well. And you've achieved recent success? Yeah, so since launching in July uh, 2018, uh, we participated with the Australian Federal Government with on two uh, cyber missions in the ASEAN region, in Singapore and uh, Jakarta, Indonesia. And uh, we were the first uh, signing signed deal as part of the Four Pillars Cyber Program uh, in Indonesia with a $5 million US uh, offtake deal uh, that will then be expanded over a five year period uh, to help build Indonesia's capacity in this region. Uh, and we were, like I said, the, chosen over 260 Australian other companies to, to participate in that signing ceremony of the Free Trade Agreement. We've also had inquiries from 15 other countries, so we've now got partnerships in uh, New York, uh, Netherlands, uh, Germany. Uh, we're setting up offices this year in the UK as well. Uh, inquiries from in, uh, New Zealand, uh, Japan, and a number of others. So yeah, it's been quite a bit of a ride. And where to now for the company? So we're undertaking another capital raise uh, to handle the capacity of and the inquiries that have been coming in and that's literally just to bo uh, boost our resources, take on more staff, uh, the new office in the UK uh, and yeah, deal with these international inquiries and raise our, you know, introduce more contracts and raise our revenue. Uh, we are investigating a possible potential IPO uh, in the first or second quarter of two th uh, 2020. Um, so this year it'll all be about revenue uh, driving revenue up, introducing new contracts and going to the IPO with a good solid business uh, in play. An exciting company playing in a globally significant market. Exciting times ahead for the company. Adam, thanks for your time. Thank you very much.